Hey everybody, uh, I'm here again for another video appearance with the Traxxas Fortec 2.0. Um, you can call this a tutorial, but it's really not intended to be, um, even though I'm actually going to put this in my tutorial playlist. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you what I do when it comes to like after-run maintenance on, on, a, on an RC car. Um, specifically, st after street use, because I mostly drive RCs on the street. Even if it's an off-road vehicle like a Torment slash Bandit Rustler or whatever, and it can also apply to your street cars as well, like your like a Fortec or a HPI RS4 or any on-road car that you guys have. Basically, any RC that you pretty much have. If you mostly drive on the streets um, or on the dirt, you're still gonna get your car dirty regardless how clean the surface is or blah blah blah. But I'm mainly gonna be focusing on the uh, after runs on the streets or on the street I should say um, what I usually do is I just get a I would actually use a you can call this a painter's brush um, my uncle mainly uses this for uh, cleaning his RC so uh, he allows me to use this because it's fine with him um, what, and what I usually do is just just sweep off just basically all the big stuff, like the motor, because even the, the motor is the most dustiest and dirtiest after I do my runs on this car. On this car. Um, so just basically sweep off everything um, and do all that stuff. You know, get the get that uh, nasty stuff out of the out of the big stuff out. And yeah, so after you, after I'm done with that, I usually, if I want to get some of the small stuff uh, through, I would usually, uh, I would not usually, but I would, I prefer using a, a very small toothbrush, not like, but any kind of toothbrush would actually work, but something small that you can actually go through the um, small spaces like, you know, there's like hard to reach areas where there are bearings here. So for example, there's a bearing over here and stuff like that, um, or um, a drive shaft axle here, or even like going inside the suspension springs, or basically all the small stuff that you can see around the RC. Um, all, excuse me, uh, off-road vehicles are more easier to do compared to like a on-road because the on-roads are like has a smaller wheelbase than than an off-road. But basically. Um, whatever I'm showing you is pretty much complies with any other RC. So basically, what I'm trying to say is use a a big brush just to sweep up all the uh, dirt on the big stuff, and then for the small, hard to reach stuff, you use a smaller old toothbrush and stuff like that. But um, now, if you guys are wondering, what about like the really dirty stuff? Uh, I am uh, I have no uh, recommendation for that because there's like other plenty of videos out there how to actually uh, clean up an RC clean up an RC car after like wet maintenance or heavy bashing sessions. Uh, there are plenty of videos of on that on YouTube. I'm just here showing you what I usually do after I drive it on the streets because like I mostly drive on the on pavement rather than uh, off road. Sometimes I would just drive my slash and rustler off road, but this is just my. Uh, what I do after I run my RCs, no matter if it's a streetcar or an off-road. Um, I'm mostly going to be driving on the streets. So that's it, guys. Um, yeah. And I hope you enjoyed that, and there will be plenty of videos of my Fortech running again, such as drift videos and running videos.